Hey everybody, it's time once again for another edition of Get My Dose. And now, please welcome your host, Sid the News Hound. Ah, hey everybody, thanks for dropping in and joining me and my homies, Jimpy. <laughs> and of course, Fa. Here at our favorite getaway. There's nothing better than getting back to nature, roasting a few weenies, and sucking back a few wobbly pups. And by few, I mean quite a few. For a dog, anyway. Anyway, you know what's something that really gets my goat? What gets your goat, Sid? I used to love Nintendo. Back in the day, they put out some of the best games ever. They had total groundbreaking classics. I'm talking Zelda, Mario, Mario Kart, GoldenEye, Donkey Kong, and so many more. And what was good is that the system was cheaper and the games used to be cheaper. But now, <laughs> they've gotten almost expensive, as expensive as EA games. Can you believe it? Those clunkly, no fun EA games? But it's difficult. It's corporate greed. Just like a drug dealer. People get hooked on your brand and once you know they're in too deep to get out, they jack up the price. So here's what they're doing. Everything you want to do on Nintendo needs more DLC. If you guys don't know, DLC says for downloadable content, which costs a quarter of the cost of the original game. So let's say you buy the game for $60 now. It costs you an extra $120 a year, plus $15 each for whatever DLC you want. And that's the other thing. Games used to be a one-time charge, and that was it. You owned it, but now it's all about subscription. That constant cash flow out of your pocket and into theirs. Like a giant straw that goes into your wallet and keeps on sucking and sucking and sucking and sucking. And not in a good way. It really pisses me off. Like the other day, all I wanted to do was play Splatoon 2 with Jimpy and Fa. But no. I had to go buy a bunch of Nintendo Online bullpoop. And even then, if we wanted to play missions, I had to go buy the Octo Expansion DLC. And it's not just Splatoon 2. Oh, no, 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 no. Now, almost every Switch game is like that, or slowly becoming like that. Nintendo's gone from being a fun company that cares about their customers to just a bunch of guys in suits in an office raking in cash from less left to right. And that doesn't even begin to explain the humped up fact about how they won't even consider giving a discount for rebuying stolen games. Okay, I get that they can't just give out new ones because people can say they lost them and get free games, but at least give us some sort of discount or something. I had four games stolen from me, they took my game case, and then there's not a chance in hell I'm paying a second $240 for something I've already bought. Now, I know what you're thinking. If Nintendo did that to everyone, we'd just lie and get discounted games, and that's a fair argument. That's a fair argument. Of course, things like honor and integrity are long out the window for most people when it comes to making a quick buck. But if the NSA can watch anybody anywhere, anytime, at their own phone or laptop and Google, and if Google can show you an Olive Garden ad because you happen to mention the name in the conversation with your phone triggered in an algorithm, which Google picked up and responded to even though you were out in the middle of the Australian outback, a thousand miles away from anything resembling an Olive Garden, and believe folks that it is true story, true story, then you would think Nintendo would know you own a certain game, especially after you've registered it online with Nintendo and played it online, right? Makes sense, right? They can't come back at me and pretend like they didn't know that I had bought, paid for, and owned a certain game. So why be greedy? Come on, Nintendo. You're supposed to be on our side. Like a beautiful symbiotic relationship. You make the fun and entertaining games. We give you our money, and it's a win-win situation. Or at least it was a win-win situation. Greed will kill that relationship, and that's all I gotta say about that. It almost has. Thanks for listening. See you next time. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Stay tuned for more amazing, totally untrue facts, and please like and subscribe. It really helps. And hit that bell icon to stay in touch. We want to hear your feedback. Until next time, this is Sid the Insider, wishing you a great day.